A large part of A.L. Meltzer's strategy for expanding Evans Furs in the 1950s involved putting Evans Furs concessions or leased departments in some of the finest department stores around the country just as commerce in the nation was shifting outward from city downtowns to the growing suburbs. The boom was apparently on when brother-in-law Harold Sussman, husband of sister Thelma Meltzer, was sent to Boston to expand the operation in a move that would foretell much of the growth legacy of Evans Furs for the next 50 years. In taking family from the corporate and family headquarters and relocating them, A.L. Meltzer was signaling how important this strategy was. The concept of having a concession in a department store allowed Evans Furs to have a physical footprint in key targeted cities without the overhead expense, all while allowing Evans to take advantage of the foot traffic brought in by the local host store. They called me in the office and they had to call corporate Evans and they said, who's this guy? You know, Jeff Becker is like telling us that we have to give him space in our store. The relationships were often complicated, but at the end of the day, were driven by numbers and money. Field general managers, of which I myself was one, in both San Francisco and Los Angeles, had to juggle serving two masters, keeping both corporate management at Evans and at the host store happy. Happy enough to keep both Evans and you, the general manager, continuing on there. You know, they helped us, they got us, you know, the space we need in these stores. They, and we were doing business, so they love that, to help them get to their store numbers. However, in the long run, time was not on Evans' side, as a seismic shift changed consumer sentiment towards fur, and when combined with the industry destroying the luxury product positioning that took it decades to build, it was no longer aspirational when furs began mass assembly line production and were made affordable to everyone. Prior to that, though, the strategy, which would be continued by future CEOs David Meltzer, son of the founder, and Robert Meltzer, grandson of the founder, helped Evans grow into greater than a 100-location powerhouse, bringing in annual revenue of over $150 million. That is, until rapidly declining sales forced the bottom to drop out, and Evans would begin a multi-year decline, culminating in a shutdown and asset sale in 1999, 70 years after A.L. Meltzer founded the business. We loved what we did and we wanted to go out and, you know, make things happen.